My name is Kevin Hughes. I'm currently the course director for our MSc course in Structures, Crashworthiness and Impact at Cranfield University. Uh, if you're interested in developing crashworthiness or crash protection systems, or if indeed you have an interest in understanding how materials respond to impact loading, or you'd like to look into how to use advanced numerical simulation tools, then this course will be of interest to you. As you'll see, the course offers excellent recruitment opportunities and caters for a wide variety of sectors including aerospace, automotive, maritime and defence sectors. Crashworthiness represents a significant proportion of the development costs in industries including automotive and aerospace. Research in this area is increasingly topical as regulations are continually under development. This forces uh, companies to consider structural integrity and crashworthiness as a priority in the design. The SCI course will equip you with the skills to pursue successful careers in this expanding area of structural engineering. The course uh, enables us to meet employer requirements through an industrial advisory panel. This represents um, senior engineers from automotive and aerospace industries who are directly involved with leading crashworthiness research. This enables us to provide you with the training to produce graduates with strong analytical skills in structural behaviour and failure, material response to impact loading, as well as being able to practically apply this knowledge using the latest industry standard simulation tools. One of the unique features of our course is a group design project element which enables students to try and consolidate all the taught material that's presented throughout the year. This is a student-led activity uh, which enables students to develop both their technical skills as well as project management. Uh, the projects are typically industrially relevant and we're currently looking into developing uh, a one-stage gas gun as well as uh, a drop test tower. From an experimental point of view, the group has access to its own laboratory where we're able to actually perform full-scale torsion and bending testing of car chassis. In addition, the group has access to material testing machines to support the numerical methods development work performed by the group in trying to develop improved damage models for metals and composites. There's a wide range of uh, teaching methods employed on the course to try to create a demanding and stimulating learning environment. This includes a structured lecture programme, tutorials and case studies, practical examples through hands-on computing exercises, as well as through the group design project and the individual research project, which enables you to develop the necessary skills uh, to perform independent learning, how to write technical reports and also how to deliver oral presentations as well. The course is also supplemented by guest lectures from industry who provide a practical viewpoint to crash awareness. To support the uh, theoretical knowledge developed throughout your time at Cranfield, we also expose the students to the nonlinear finite element code of Dyna 3D. This is one of the industry standard packages that is used to simulate crash and impact events. The course is supported by a variety of different uh, modules that enables the students to tailor the course to their own requirements. These modules include structural integrity and testing, how do you actually characterise these materials to be able to perform these numerical types of simulations, as well as looking into the dynamic response of structures and fatigue and fracture. The taught element of the course is then further reinforced through practical application through the group design project as well as the individual research project. Students who actually enrol on this course, they come from a variety of different backgrounds. We have mixtures of UK students, European as well as overseas students. Some students come to us from straight from their undergraduate degrees or come from industry, which ensures a great mix of skills and abilities to uh, enhance the learning environment for the course. Due to the close industrial links and relevance of the course, all students typically find it very easy to find employment after they finish or within the first couple of months of graduating. The course is structured in such a way as to provide a, a broad range of modules which can cater for a wide range of industrial sectors including automotive, aerospace, maritime and defence. Students who actually come to uh, Cranfield are also supported by the careers departments uh, which provide training in uh, how to write CVs and also for interview skills as well. But coupled with the links that we have with industry, this is great exposure as they're working quite closely with industry as part of their projects. We also offer recruitment fairs here at Cranfield, which enables students to be in a very strong position to find employment after they finish their course. I hope you found this uh, video useful, but if you do require any further information, then I strongly recommend having a look at our group's web pages, 
or if you do need to get in contact with me direct, you can either use phone or by email. We also offer open days where you can come to Cranfield and have a tour of the facilities. Uh, but in addition, if you do require any further information on the modules, then I recommend getting a hold of our course manual, which can be sent to you by request. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to meeting and working with you in the future.